Hey, I'm Matt and welcome to my channel where we're going to talk all things fantasy world building with an eye to crafting stories. Uh, over the last couple of years I've been studying world building as a concept going all the way back to Tolkien's early uh, lectures on the subject even before fantasy was named as a genre itself all the way to N.K. Jemison's recent master classes uh, on the subject and along the way I picked up a whole bunch of uh, Sanderson, Gaiman, Lagoon, Erickson as well as plumbing uh, the RPG community and getting some best practices and that kind of thing. Thing. And while I do focus on top-down world building versus bottom-up, as most people do, and how you need both of them combined to really work on your stories and your worlds, um, I also focus on inside-out world building, which is what looking at what audiences are expecting from uh, the world itself. And I did that with a whole bunch of surveys and you know, made some nice little infographics. I think they're nice at any rate. And I use a kind of tools not rules approach, which is that you need to know all the theories and have all the tools in your toolbox so you can apply the right one for the right situation. So if you want to know what the best map is for your subgenre, uh, how to build infodump equity, or what ancillary inclusions to include into your story at the end that audiences want, you've come to the right place. Usually I demonstrate these techniques, tricks, and tips, uh, usually by building a world on the fly once a week, but we have a new, uh, new addition to our family, so uh, my updates are gonna be a little more sporadic if you hadn't noticed already, but that doesn't mean there's not already some great content here on the site. And I'm gonna give you a quick overview if you're new, and if not, here's some stuff to review. There's a new edition right now, so uh, give me just a second. For a big overview, let's start with New uh, new Year, New World, which is me breaking down my process, my personal process, although there's a whole bunch of others. Uh, it's a quick building up and building out, which are using top down and bottom up to give audiences what they want. Then we have the four C's of world building, which are the four chains, the uh, four links in a chain that uh, keep your world grounded. Uh, then we also have my top uh, world building books, which are my personal favorites. I break down most of my world building into six different categories, so we're gonna look at those real quick. Uh, first one is geography. We got five questions to ask before making your own fantasy map. Uh, we also look at climates and biomes and the difference between them. When it comes to biology, I, everyone seems to need to know the difference between species, races, and ethnicity. Enjoy that one. We're also looking at niches and convergent evolution and how those can form your worlds and the creatures within it. If you're looking for magic, which is the breaking of physics and the world as we know it, uh, you've come to the right place. I have my very own AALC magic system system for uh, looking at magic systems and how they evolve from soft systems all the way to cost systems and a whole bunch of leveling systems which are used in Harry Potter and Avatar and Jedi's. It's all over the place. So this has its very own playlist going through uh, breaking down from Sanderson's four laws on world building and how they influence magic all the way to again building a cost system uh, which is a lot of potions and that kind of thing. Lot, pretty cool and one of my favorite things. You can also visit my uh, website uh, mdpressly Com, where it has a whole bunch more uh, resources for that kind of thing and some infographics because in flow charts, everyone loves those. Uh, when it comes to metaphysics, those are basically gods, deities, demons, and etc. Uh, the soul. And uh, we look at uh, pantheons, how to build pantheons, and deity involvement. When it comes to technology, it seems kind of odd in fantasy, but it really is important for making your subgenre and identifying it and creating toehold details. So here's a quick look at flintlock fantasy and how a technology affects it. Uh, when it comes to culture, this is where most of the uh, fantasy conceits happen, or a lot of them do at any rate. Uh, we're gonna look at analog cultures or the cultures from the real world that we use as uh, starting points for building our fantasy worlds. We're also gonna look at masquerades and how they affect urban fantasy. And when it comes to writing and crafting your stories, let's look at imparting and deducting uh, information and five ways that audiences uh, can pick up on information between, you know, ranging from the uh, author just telling, not showing, all the way to with them having to pick up all the details themselves. Also looking at plotting with post-it notes and how I personally have adapted a system to uh, plot out four book series and use them to make uh, TV shows, that kind of thing. Um, some of them are even online. Anyways, um, yeah, and then uh, how uh, one of my personal favorites about raising kids and how it's like world building. We also have a few case studies uh, looking at Doctor Strange and, and the Multiverse of Madness and world building in that as well as some Dresden. Uh, again, my website, mdpressy.com, has a whole bunch of resources, infographics, that kind of thing. Uh, and I have uh, this here book series, uh, which is available ebook, uh, paperback, and even 
Hardback, yeah, for uh, your, your resources. Um, a whole bunch of useful stuff on uh, this, which I draw from a lot. Um, buy my books, I've got a new kid. And uh, yeah, with all that, I hope you have what you need to uh, build some better worlds. And I hope you subscribe, stick around, and uh, when I get back to doing some actual updating. <laughs>